girls welcome back to my channel Gladys here so today on this video I will be sharing with you what I got from the BIB sale from from Sephora which was ended like on the 15 which is Wednesday and today is Friday so I'm filming it I had a chance and also I will be included on I will be including in this video what I got from my blog I get up I get something for myself too when I pick up a gift for my dad for his birthday and for something a little bit something for my mom so let's go and start this reveal slash a little bit of review because some of the items i already been using for about a week so and i hope you are all doing great dolls and lovelies it's such a pretty weather here in california we had a day full of rain yesterday and thank god sun is clearing up and I finally made this video. So, let's start. Alright, dolls. I got three bags of goodies here. Actually, it's four. Because I picked up also something from Nordstone, Nordstrom after, after my blog. I ended up um, stopping by there to get something. And so I got something from Chanel and from the BIB sale <laughs> from Sephora. And yeah, so let's start probably from my um what I got from my blog. So like you said here, I got something from Chanel. And this is what I picked up. Like this is my um flan ones. Oh my god, sorry about the lighting. It's kind of like starting to to light up to brighten up and then it's gonna be <laughs> dark you know so i pick up this chanel skincare and this is the this is the mousse comfort hope you can see it In there this is the mousse comfort con Comfort, not comfort. Comfort. This is rich foaming cream cleanser. Comfort plus anti pollution. I maybe probably because this is French, so they say comfort instead of comfort. Whatever. So this is rich foaming cream cream cleanser and comfort plus anti solution. So I got this probably more than a week now and i've been starting it i started using it a day after i got it and i was surprised how rich and creamy it was because the first time i used it i put it like a bunch on my on my three fingers and my face was hella foamy you know like oh my god i shouldn't have done that you know because you only have to put a little bit portion like a little teeny tiny bit on um, probably on your finger just a little tiny bit and it can cover your face when you're using it you know you don't have a lot so i am very surprised about this uh product because in this tube look how big it was and you only need a little tiny bit i will show you how i so this is just the only uh portion of the product i'm only using to wash my face and it's very creamy it's very foamy you won't gonna feel that the product is too less or it's not working you know because you only put a little tiny portion no girl it's not i'm telling you and i'm so excited to use this for um what i got from the sephora yeah because yeah i got something from sephora and i want to try it on together and so yeah so this is what I can say about this uh, beauty here and this is the Chanel mousse comfort rich foaming cleanser so I really do recommend this product because after you use it on your face it's really gonna make your face like you had uh, what is called that a lift on your face you know like you get a botox or something like your face was really mmm lifted yeah but it's not very drying it's it's lifted and then i i put my moisturizer then and i'm good oh my god just one product i took three minutes i better hurry up so that's that and also what i pick up from 
Chanel count beauty counter is these two lip products right here. This is it, and this is the first is this uh, Rouge Allure ink. This is from their uh, holiday collection. This is limited uh, piece. Also, this one, this is the Rouge Allure Velvet. This is also limited collection, and as you can see, it has this red packaging. For the normal um, Chanel lipstick, it's all black, and it's just kind of like gold, if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't bought lipstick from Chanel, so I quite forgot. But since it's, this is... Um, oh, here. Here is the regular packaging for a, um, a Chanel lipstick. It's black and gold. But this specific lipstick is very limited even the packaging inside is limited collection so for you to see what i'm talking about this is what i'm saying there it has this red met kind of like is it metal i know yeah metal but the inside is this part if you can see the black thing is plastic so this is limited color for the packaging from the holiday collection from Chanel makeup and you can see here it says Chanel written and this is in shade number three they have four colors and two kinds of finishes two satins and two mattes there's two type of um satin like i said but i forgot the um the color but i remember one i think it's uh kind of like coral color you know and then for the matte there's two types of red for this one this is the matte ones i already have this um line uh lipstick not the same lipstick but on the same um line so here it is it's red it's um not um wait this is red but when you look at it the product itself it, it has the brown or mauvey tone for it and you can see there it has chanel written all around the lipstick around the product and this packaging like this what sold me actually i love limited edition products you know and this was already been in my radar i'm not planning to purchase this but when i saw it i was like all right <laughs> okay <laughs> I, I i i get a, a little bit impulsive so yeah i purchased this limited collection rouge allure velvet from the holiday season collection from Chanel that's how it is all right and the second lipstick from Chanel that I got I already have this um line two from Chanel lipstick line and this is the Rouge Allure ink in 150 luxuriant they're quite same um they, she, she is also in the red uh, family, you know, in the red shade. But I'm telling you, it is not kind of like, it has a tone of red. It's a mixture of red and a pink, actually. And this is what I'm wearing right now. Here it is, the brush. I love this, um liquid lipstick from chanel the only thing i don't like about this is it takes a while to dry up on your lips and not other kind of um liquid lipstick that once you apply it 30 second it's dry but the only thing i also like about this is but but that part is quite okay i can wait you know but also there are lots of factors that i like about this liquid lipstick because when you apply it you can feel light right away that it's a very lightweight product on your lips 
you know and it's very easy to glide it's very easy to put on it's very liquidy you know it's not creamy it's very it's kind of like more on a liquid but when it's dry up to your lips when the product dry ups on your lips it's gonna last all day you know unless you eat oily foods then that could be a little bit um different and so it's very lightweight it lasts pretty much all day and i own, already own two of this from the previous purchase of mine and this is my favorite this is in 140 amarux whatever i cannot speak french so that's i'm just gonna link all the details down below so yeah this is my favorite i like that this is in pink nude corally color it's like the same shade of my natural lip color you know i like that when I, whenever i wear that it feels like i don't have a lipstick on so for this one this is the shade i'm wearing right now and i want to move a little bit closer so you can see sorry if i have if my lipstick application it's not even because i've tried a lot of lip product before this video because i want to feature something else too you'll see later on so when you see it it looks like red because it's in the red uh, family but it has a pink undertone like a strawberry pink you know yeah so that's that so here it is this is the rouge allure um ink am i yeah Rouge Allure Ink, the liquid uh, lipstick from Chanel. And all right, ladies, now let's proceed for what I got from Sephora. Sephora. Yeah, I got two bags. I thought I'm only getting, I'm done with it, you know, but I end up stopping by there on their last day of the VIB sale event and I end up getting something which this little bag here with me so first let's go and check out what i got from this big bag so let's start on the small items and nothing new this is just restocking for this product i got the for the first product what i got is the, from benefit this is the four the four professional matte rescue this is from benefit i already own this one and i love it and it's the right time to repurchase another one because i'm almost running out you know and i love this product so much this is my favorite um primer every time i use this um to put my makeup on i can really see the difference that my foundation lasts longer you know because of this product and this is how the tube looks like it says here benefit with this lady here it says here the four professional and it's a, a mattifying um primer for blurring and invisible finish Sometimes I, I forget to uh, not use this whenever I put my makeup and like I said, there's a big difference that my foundation is not lasting that long ex except whenever um, I use this product then my foundation lasts longer or my makeup lasts longer. So here's the first one. The second one is, this is kind of like not intentionally wanted to buy you know because i don't have any um anything on my list that i want to get to sephora except for the last big one over here that's really just what i wanted and the rest were kind of like last minute <laughs> decision so here is the second item i got and this is from dior sorry it's blurring me it's blinding because of the shiny silver package and this is from like i said dior and this is the backstage buffing brush so i got the buffing brush which is for foundation and airbrush and it has it says here it has professional airbrush finish 
fluid found and also a fluid foundation brush so this is fluid foundation brush and it can also be on contour face or neck so here is the product it has this microfiber sleeve or pouch it has cd over here there you go that's the pouch and let's see what brush i'm telling you guys so here it is it is little guy right here i like that it's very let's see how firm it was how thick it was and i like how soft it is and the brush bristles are not that sharp because there are brush that when you apply it on your face or when you try to use it it's kind of like hurting your face because they're kind of like quite sharp they're not very sh sh uh, soft and you know you know what i'm saying right so and it, this has also a tapered angled brush that's what i like about this one because when you're applying a liquid foundation using this brush i can easily reach those corners of my uh, face which is the inner corner of my eye and outer corner of my eyes i can easily put the um product on my face also the corners of my nose over here you know you can easily reach that because of this part you know like bup, 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 that so and this is from dior and this is number 18 this is the dior backstage buffing brush yeah all right and i love the fact that it has a pouch okay going to the big big one this is a plan one this is really what i wanted like this is just on my list when i've been waiting for the bib sale and this is the clarisonic mia 2 cleansing brush I've been wanting this for quite some time since I, you know, upgraded my skincare routine. So I said, I need a nice cleansing brush and I watched a lot of reviews about this and yeah. So this is the uh, limited edition Clarisonic Mia 2 and look how gorgeous the packaging is. This is for the holiday um packaging hold on there this is the holiday packaging sorry because so you can see how beautiful the packaging is so it has this metallic purple on the top and look at this purple with silver ribbons over here and i particularly choose this one because there's a lot there's a bunch of clarisonic and this particular one is included with a foundation brush yes with a foundation brush so that's kind of like making me more excited i want to try the brush also whenever i use my liquid foundation yeah i'm excited about this so this is the mia 2 it says here the glow getter cleanse and blend set cut right regions this is the best selling mia 2 with new sonic foundation brush so this is just new so i get a pretty good decent um price over here from the sale from the 21st cent off sale so this how the box looks like and this is color sonic here and there when you open it here's the box looks like and this is the um sonic foundation brush like i'm i'm telling you dollies there yeah and also it came with quick start the instruction card and some booklets here about the clarisonic we'll see if i have patience to read everything in there and 
I got the charger core, the charger and the cord, and also the power adapter, you know, and of course the product itself, which is the Clarisonic Mia 2. This is the Clarisonic Mia 2 and this has two power settings, two speed settings if I'm not mistaken. Yep. The first um, Clarisonic, um, I think it only has um, one level of speed setting and the newest one has two. So this is the Clarisonic Mia 2 and I chose white. I want to I wanna get it in pink but they don't have it in pink with a foundation brush so I settled with a with, uh, white one. You know and to charge it I was pretty amazed when you're charging this product of course you have to put the power adapter to the outlet and insert this USB thing the cord and this part right here this circle this round surface here has these two rivets it has two rivets over here and at the bottom handle of the product you can see two little holes on this part and you can attach it like this see it's magnetic so that's how the way this product is going to be charged so this products charge this way i mean yeah so i'm quite a little bit sad because other clarisonic has their you know case but it's fine i'll settle for now and just pound a small pouch and put this together so i can bring it to work also like I said earlier, when I purchased my Chanel Mousse Comfort Rich Foaming Cleanser, I want to use these two together. That's why I got little something from Chanel for my cleansing foam because I'm just using a clean and clear one. I've been using it for years and I don't have problem with it because like I said, I just upgraded my skincare routine because I'm not getting any younger anymore. We are not getting any younger anymore, ladies. You know that. So you better step up the game and take care of your skin. It's a lifetime commitment, you know. It benefits us in the future. So yeah. So this is what I got for the VIB sale which is I got it like the second day since they start the VIB sale and yeah I'm so excited to use this and to proceed to the little bag I got this like I said the last day of the event I just stopped by there store is so crowded and I end up getting something still so first I restock up my ABH Brow Whisk. This is the Anastasia Brow Whisk. I got it in the shade Soft Brown and Chocolate. This is what I've been using to my brows lately. Just these two. I am not using for about a week or so now. I'm not using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade. I'm not using it. I'm just using these two. You know. And I'm loving it. Like... This is just what I'm using to my brows right now. And yeah, so I stock up. I still have plenty from my recent, from my previous purchase before. But, you know, I like to stock up since there's sale, right? Might as well get that opportunity. And also, I got this, um, the original Beauty Blender Keep It, it, Keep it Clean. Cleansing Meat for a Fast and Deep Clean for your Beauty Blenders. I supposed to get this long time ago because my I think I've thrown three beauty blenders already because I cannot get get it deep clean you know I can clean it but there's still some spot of the foundations there and I'm, I, I can find it I found it kind of like gross to use it so I just throw it and repurchase you know 
but since I've got this I'm looking forward for this um, kit that it can clean up my beauty blender very well like getting rid of the stain of the foundation to the beauty blender so yeah it has that blender cleanser this I think this is the soap and you have this kind of like what do you call this hmm it has this kind of like pad where you can rub the beauty blender in yeah supposed to be so that's that so I'm looking forward for this one and also I picked up something from Laura Mercier which is I really wanted to try this translucent brightening powder this is secret brightening powder for under eyes but I just get the um, the mini size I didn't get the full size jar I just want to try it because I still have my translucent um, powder from Tom Ford so I just get the mini size which is it's this one it looks like this if you're I know you're very familiar with this so yeah I didn't get a, a sp like a sponge hmm that's quite interesting huh well anyway so this is in shade number one and this is the secret brightening powder for under eyes you know and this is the this is from Laura Mercier. There you go. That's that. So let's start baking, baking. And last but not the least is this, this, this. And this is the um Bur Bur this is from Burberry. It says here Burberry London England it has this metallic shiny silver box and oh it's also in included with this protector which it says here wait liquid lip velvet mini collection and it has this four mini lip um size from their velvet lips liquid lipstick so yeah and it has 4x4 four four ml or 0 0.13 ounce of product for every li uh, lipstick. And let's see the four beauties. So here it is. And this is the Burberry Lip Velvet Lipstick. Am I right? Yep. Mini collection. It has four shades and look at the gorgeous silver Burberry this is kind of like the Burberry print too look at that and it has this matte kind of like plastic thing it says there Burberry Burberry that and I'll did some swatches for this I will included it in this video you know how the shade looks on me when I try it on and first is this beautiful pink which is in fawn rose number nine liquid lip velvet I hope you can read it but yeah I will in, um, include all the details down below oh my god what's that so just that I like how it's mini because I can easily put it in my small purses or my mini purses here's the brush this has a pink with a little bit of purple undertone on this one that's the thing that i can say about this overall yeah 
I like it, you know, if I want something to be different, you know, if I don't, if I'm tired of wearing matte lipstick, then probably I'll switch into this and yeah. Okay, let's proceed to the second color, which is this one. It has this um, very bright pink color and the shade is magenta number 33. And if you can see, it's like red, but it's not red. This is very bright. It's a bright pink. It's like a striking bright pink. Kind of like a fuchsia. Fuchsia. Yeah. I like it. I think this is going to be my, my favorite on this, uh, um, on this shade. Yeah. So here it is. This is again in number 33 magenta. Yep. <coughs> this when I tried it on, it's it's not that as moisturize it's it's not as moisturizing as this one. This has a lot of moisture when you apply it on, but it will be gone after a few hours or so. But this one, no, it has moisture, but it's not as moisture as the uh, Fawn Rose. And up to the third one, this is in this beautiful coral color. There. I also like this one. Because this has a, a tone of, this kind of like, it's not like really really orangey this is coral kind of like coral red it's coral but it has a bit of red on it so i quite like that you know i i, I don't think i have a coral red actually so i think this is going to be my second favorite for this one and this is in shade number 37 it says regiment red it has red, but it's more on coral for me. You can see when I tried it on onto my lips. So number 33 Regiment Red. There it is. Da -da -da -da. And last but not the least on the product that I want to feature on this video is this guy right here and this is also from the liquid velvet collection of the Burberry line and this is in shade Oxblood number 53 if you can see here it it has this mauve color this is kind of like burgundy or maroon type of shade of lipstick That's that. Da, 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 da. And I think I have similar color for this one, which is from the Kat Von D one. And I'm not sure if I also have this in they're quite no, they're very far. So I think yeah, it has a similar shade from my from my Kat Von D one. I'm not sure if also have the same shade from the Kyla lip kit. So yeah. Overall, what I can say about this liquid velvet um lipstick from Burberry line is it's not bad at all. Probably I'm not just I'm not used to the formula which is velvet because more of my lipstick are matte. So I'm I'm still kinda not used to the formula whenever I'm applying it on or or how it it works on my lips and how the finish is is you know because I'm used to matte lipstick so yeah. But if you like um velvet formula for lip lipstick I I 
there. <laughs> I do recommend you to have this. So, yeah, here it is. All right, dolls. So, the last item I want to feature with you is this little something. This is a clothing from Neiman Marcus. It has this cover. You know, can you glimpse? Can you take a peek over here? Yeah, so this is also included from what I got from, from my previous blog. And this has been on my wish list since last year. I really didn't expect that I can find it on Neiman Marcus um, clothing department. I was just walk around there. No idea at all. I just want to kill time that day. And I end up getting this. So to see what I'm talking about. This is, can you tell, can you tell? Yes, this is my ever, my very, my first ever <laughs> Kenzo jumper. It, it says there Kenzo and the famous tiger print on the front and it says there Kenzo Paris. And this is in the color for dogs, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, where's the tag? Hmm. Where is it? Oh, I know this is for, yeah, it's for dogs. And this is in size medium. This is not a, this is not from women's collection. This is from men's. I like myself wearing men's um, hoodies or sweater because it's give me more comfortable thing, you know, like, oh, this is also my favorite hoodies. So, yeah, this is from the men's department and I don't find any problem wearing it because I wear men's hoodies and men's sweaters every time. And yeah, I... Small is for, I tried on the small gray one for this um, same style, but I like the medium more because I'm afraid that after a while, after some washes, it will shrunk, you know, and I don't like that. I want the, pro I want the, um, the item or the product to last longer how it was, you know, and I know, and I'm not sure about the quality of Kenzo, but it's it's in kind of like pricey mark for sweaters but i'm looking forward for their quality but still i want to make sure i want to have an insurance for myself that it will last longer on my closet so i end up getting medium and i will insert a clip here somewhere me trying it on and here's how the color looks like it has this brown mauve color with kind of like black and green. Yeah, so I like it. It's perfect for the fall and winter season. Yeah, I like weather. I like wearing sweaters and hoodies on the cold season. This is just my comfy, you know. I feel like I'm myself every time I wear my hoodies and my sweaters with some sneakers, you know. Yeah. So that's that, and I'm so excited. I'm looking forward for more cancel sweaters or hoodies in the future for myself. So yeah, here it is. All right, dolls, so I already featured everything on my haul from Sephora VIB sale and from what I got from my last blog. So hopefully you do enjoy, and I gave you a uh, much info and help you if you're eyeing on some of the products that I picture. So yeah, thank you for watching and thank you if this video is quite a little bit long. Please forgive me. So I will be seeing you on my next one and thank you for watching. I will link all the details down below in the description bar and happy Thanksgiving.